You see, let's talk about Emeka Ike once again. And uh, I've already made my stand known. Hmm? When it comes to Emeka Ike and his wife issue, I am supporting Emeka Ike 70% and I'm supporting his wife 30%. Because Emeka Ike is not perfect and his wife is not perfect as well. But if you tell me, if you ask me who I support the most, honestly, I will tell you Emeka Ike. I saw a lot of last Emeka Ike is getting online and a lot of support as well Emeka Ike is getting online. So, for me, that is my stand on that particular matter. Then someone unusual yesterday decided to support Emeka Ike. And that's the person of uh, Yole Doje. Yole Doje, why you support Emeka Ike? If you support Emeka Ike, people will come for Emeka Ike. Now you know you do not stand, you do not have good record on social media because you marry two wife and your first wife is not happy about that and your son pass on. Jolie Doshi said, good to have you back in the game, big bro. The legendary Ibikaike. Udogu, you are one of the actors who inspired me to come up. I am a Big fan of your work. We love you, bro. Trust me, the people who love you are more than your haters. Yes, so I know we lie you. Me, I like a make IK. I know it make IK will lie. More than your haters. But the haters always make more noise. Ignore the noise. Don't let anybody bring you down. Keep your head up, boss. Life will constantly try to pull you down. No grill, nobody else good pass. Forget the romantic picture you see couples post on social media. He person tell you their own family wahala you go run. Even the people when they interview your family people, take and um, they cash out. Their own house no good. Your family matter no consign anybody. You are right or wrong no consign anybody. Now you and your madam will settle that one. What matters to us, your fan, is to see you happy and doing that thing we love you for, which is your work. We deal with you, big bro. Everything you ever lost, this is the time to get it back. Everything you ever dreamt of becoming, this is the time to go for it, with your work and your name. The name Emeka Ike is crested by God. Nobody can bring you down except you. Never back down. Never stay down. No grief for anybody. The sky is, the sky is your starting point. Soon we go jump for set again. We love you, big bro. Let me make this clear to you guys. Despite the heat, eh? eh? Despite the heat, I know we lie you. I won't see more of Emeka Ike movies. Yes, yeah, so. I want to see more of a Mika Ike's movie. And you all the supporting a Mika Ike. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? People blasting your Leduce in a bed of the same feathers. You continue. Just imagine waking up and having so much hate in your mind. Chai! What kind of burden is, uh, burden is that? Like, what kind of a stress? Waking up. Having so much hatred in your heart and looking for the next person to to to, to point that hatred to. Abba! These people, these people made a type negativity online there. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how you guys ah God. But all the same though, like I've said before, I'm supporting Mikaiki 70% and a wife 30%. Because I know what it takes to be a man. I know how men are very, very underappreciated. And I know how kids get it wrong most time. Like a maker a case son, eh? Child man, you they do say you be 22 years old. And someone told me, someone wrote me and tell and told me that that guy is a dropout. In fact, I think I should search for that message. Say that guy is a dropout. They wrote him in school. That guy decided to drop out to pursue music. 
It tells you to make a like the video. Let me try to get it, guys. I'm still trying. Let me try to get that uh, message. I really love that. It, it seems like that guy that wrote that message to me really, really know about this guy. Really, really know about this particular uh, Emeka Ike son. Coming out to say you hate your father. Kai! Biggest mistake you ever made. <laughs> Biggest mistake you ever made. Oh, I can't find it, guys. The guy wrote me, commented under our post, and he said the guy is a dropout. That they paid for him to go to school, but the guy decided not to go to school. So for personal experience, for personal experience, eh, the maker gave to me actually tried, although it's not perfect. And yet again, I think you should also sit down to know his fault as well, because I've said it before. You are not perfect. And because you know you are not perfect, that that should all, all that should always tell you that you can offend your children. Some men feel like they cannot offend their children. Allow you feel you offend your picking. That's why I say you'll be mad. You feel you offend your picking. Don't say that boy, I'll give birth to this boy, and this boy is telling me I can offend him. No. You can offend your child. Definitely. And and bring that, that hand may take to say you the you hate your child. Carry on come and say nah, sense you no get. If you get sense, you will not go to say you hate your father online. If I have done you wrong, let us sit down to handle it. Hmm? Let me now tell you how I feel like you have disappointed me. Well, that, that woman is not doing well. This is a public matter because I brought it to public and uh, we have every right to talk about it publicly. So people sh sh shouldn't be saying that uh, it's a private matter. They should remove it from uh, the public domain. Then let them keep talking about it privately. And uh, for Yole Doche, hmm? although it's already in our tradition that a man can marry more than one wife. Okay? In English tradition, no go come Nigeria overnight to remove that kind of thing. If a man decides to marry more than one wife, be it a Christian or a Muslim, there will be never a time that I will castigate that man. If I have castigated your legacy before, it was because it was because of the promises that he made to his wife. He said they will never pick another wife. Or he said that this and this and that and that. And that wife accordingly, according to news, was very, very good to him. But Yole Doche has every right to pick another wife. He's grown up now. He can tr treat them equally according to him. So let him, he's not, he's not, he's in our tradition as, as blacks. Eh? He's also in their, in, their, in their tradition again as white. Deep down into their history, those men were taking more than one wife. The kings. They're taking more than one wife. So now those uh, feminism and everything have changed a lot of things. We are taking more than one wife. So in, in our culture, in human nature, it's a nature for a man to take more than one wife. But that is another discussion for another day. Though. Let's talk, go back to Ghana. Let's talk about Nigerian music versus Ghanaian music. And how Shatawale is pissed off. There is a video I watched recently. Shatawale performed at a venue in Ghana and uh, decided to call out uh, Stoneboy, uh, Sakodia, and the rest. Shatawale, chill. Stop destroying. Stop calling out your brothers and sisters in Ghana. <laughs> I've never seen a brown before. 
Stop I need a brand for. Don't you want to do that bullshit thing with me? Because you see me, my life in the one pair. I say I like the street, make the take the radio. What be by force? You know be by force. I like the street. You say you won't play black star. I say I won't play for castle. The team be said. Sasawole is always talking about who is richer, who has more money, who is this. And I've never actually seen Stoneboy or, or Sakodia addressing this guy in public. If they have done that, please let me see the video. This guy just a para for nothing. And again, how can we Nigerians trust Shatawole? Shatawole means they condemn their own people. So should we embrace him in Nigeria? Abba. We don't know say person if he condemn your own brother and sisters. Just imagine what that person will do to you. Just imagine. Because charity begins at home. There is no way Afrobeat will, uh, will, will, will accept Shatawale. No way. The only way Afrobeat will, uh, will accept Shatawale is if Shatawale, eh? Shatawale accepts Ghana music. Accept your own music first. Stop castigating. Stop fighting your fellow artists. Stop talking about money, 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 money. Eh? Stop talking about money. You get money, pass. You get money, pass. You get money, pass. You get money, pass. What the hell, guy? Chill. Take a chill pill. People are already stressed. Those musicians are stressed this period because of too many businesses, too many shows to perform. So take a chill pill, not to bring your stress to them. Hmm? Well, I don't really understand what is happening over there in Ghana, but we can never accept Shatawale in Afrobeat because it doesn't appreciate Ghana music. You must appreciate your own motherland music before you start going to seek for acceptance over there, over uh, on another country. And if you check, there is no difference between us and Ghana. Uh, and Ghana. If nobody say they no cut the... If nobody say that no be boundary, eh, then for our Ghana join Nigeria. Yes, so. Then for our Ghana join Nigeria. We all the same, big up to them. Shut up, what a chill, relax, I bet. Eh? Chill and relax. No, the to the shout. No, they just make your money in peace and relax yourself. Stop calling out your fellow artists. Stop. See, um, uh, Black Sheriff, that don't keep quiet after he said, made a band, uh, foreign music. Maybe they play foreign music 20% or 80% for Ghana uh, music. <laughs> He's regretting his action currently. He knows they will do fuck up. That's why they keep quiet now. Continue to keep quiet, guys.